You know, I'm going to tell, I'm going to share with you all a personal story that Mr. Kevin Samuels has, has played a, a tremendous part. In. <laughs> so, uh, I myself, um, I was done dating in America. I had gone overseas and I got treated so well by those ladies over there. I was like, I'm good. I sold all my cars. I was waiting for my oldest son or my youngest son to, to, to reach the age of 18. I was going to send their butts off to college. And I was out of here. And sell this house that I'm in. I'm out of here. You know, I even decided not to put a pool in because I'm like, I'm going to sell this place. So, nevertheless, end up talking to you probably back I don't know if it was May or July, uh, in, 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 in one of uh, Obsidian Munya Ali's uh, chat. And uh, I think that was our first time having a conversation. And you said, you know, we talked for a little while. I'm like, yeah, I heard you, you know, you, you know, I heard you, you're kicking, you're kicking butt over there. And so nevertheless, long story short, you invited me to join your Facebook uh, group called The Mix, right? And I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm not trying to join your Facebook. I'm not trying to go date. I'm headed out. I'm going to seas. I know what I'm do. I'm good, right? I'm straight. Why would I try to hook up with one of these Americans? Lo and behold, man, I put it a month later, because you know, I'm like, I'm not doing this. So a month later, what I decided to do, I put my post up because I'm like, let me at least do this. I'm gonna put my post up. So I put my post up. Man, did you know within about a week, I met this beautiful uh woman of Dominican descent, who is Ivy League educated. <laughs> and, and uh, man, you know, I don't want to give it all away, cause, but man, I went up there, I went to steer. <laughs> I took that flight, right? Yeah. And uh, hung out, had a great time, man. And come to find out, she's feminine, beautiful, intelligent, hardworking, everything I wanted. So I'm telling you now, and I'm making, this is my first time making this public announcement, man, it's because of you that I met my soon to be fiance and I intend to, there's no big secret because I've already told her. I said, I intend to propose to her uh, in the next uh, three months or so. It doesn't take that long when you know what you want. And see, here's the, here's the cool thing about it, Kevin, because I've lived in her home country. And even though she's American, I understand her culture. I right, even right, speak Spanish. Right. And so because of that, it's a perfect match. So, you know, she and I, we, I think for the first week or two, we just spoke Spanish to each other. So I owe that to you, Kevin. No, no, please do. Thank you so much. So what you're doing is working. You you definitely explain to these ladies what their options really are. Mm -hmm. You definitely explain to men what they should value in a woman. So kudos to you. And uh, it's a beautiful story. I appreciate it. Uh, and, uh, you know, people who don't believe that what Kevin is, he's telling you the truth. I'm telling you, I would have rather been alone than to date one of these, what do you call them, women in the danger zone? Is that what you yeah. call them? I'd rather be on my own. You see, next year, Go ahead. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best, like the old Jet Beauty magazine. Yeah. I'm gonna do my best to promote a healthy couple every month. Right. And uh and and by and by, I'll tell you what, before too long. I'm going to end up finding mine just like you. But see, yeah. this is what I think we need to do in the community. Give, 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 then ask. Keep putting our best out there in front of each other as a potential option and then just let nature sort it out. I mean, the stuff that's going on in that group, the mix, imagine, Dennis, just imagine if a fraction of the black and the, the, the love machine in this black community, if they had just put a fraction into trying to make stuff like that, what a difference it would have made with all these platforms and all these minds and all these books. Uh, you, it took a guy forming a Facebook group on a, on top of the other 10 plates I'm spinning to see your story and another brother's story who they actually had a, a, a falling out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I actually, you know, talked to both of them. Now they back together stronger than ever going on down the path. And I'm like, you know, and I'm like, don't worry about me, the messenger, why I'm, I'm like, we, we, we can do this. And when it's right, it's right. So that's a good thing to see. Here's the thing, Dennis. When, when people who've given up all hope in themselves. When I gave up, trust me, God. No, no, but I you, you had hope in yourself. But see, that's why I said. Oops. Uh-oh. 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 U
Yeah. So I'm sorry. You're back. Go ahead, Kevin. Go ahead. I was saying when people give up hope in them, the, uh, themselves. See, I can understand giving up hope in the market. When people give up hope in themselves, that's something different. And what I'm saying is, I, I, I'm cool with the people like you and I who maybe have just washed our hands and say, I'm just done with it, but I still know what I'm about. There are women out there like your 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 lady friend who can come along and uh, rekindle that fire. Yeah, man. I mean, the thing is, man. Okay, so I don't. Okay, here's the thing. I'm paying all the bills. You yeah. see what I mean? I don't yeah. want to look at the house. You know, I want cooperation. I want beauty. I want good. And for a lot of American women, it's like, well, you know, what are you gonna do to earn that? I already earned it. That's why okay. I was working from 8 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the morning to have what we have to live this lifestyle. So why do I have to reprove myself to you? You see what I mean? And if you want me to reprove myself to you, there's the door. Matter of fact, you won't even get in the door. So when I meet this young lady, it's, it's just totally... And honestly, um, here's my thing, man. I think there's people... You, you're a truth speaker. You see, And, and that's, that's the part that I love the most about your broadcast. You speak the truth unabashedly, whereas most people, they benefit from misleading people. They make money from selling people dreams. Dreams yeah. eventually fail. And so you're doing, you're you're speaking to these same people and you're telling them the truth and they are responding to it. And I think that's what makes you so much of a threat because there's a big business. Uh, we lost Kevin, but Kevin, if you can get back in here, there I was saying there's a big there's a big business behind misleading people, continually buying them, having them buy these books, having them show up at these different meetings. Mm -hmm. Lying, girl, you're 250 pounds. You, he should accept you how you are. Again, I don't do relationships, but I recognize the truth when I hear it. So, hey, hey, did um, it? Let me yes, say sir. You know, the drug, as being a former, there's a lot of money that gets made on people being on heroin and methadone. And there's an entire industry behind all that. The police, the, the, the attorneys, everything involved in that versus people who decide to get off of it and then taking like uh, maintenance medication where they can just live in life. There is a, we have to make it to where there's not as much money in the dysfunction as it is in the quote unquote solution. So, mm -hmm. um, but see, the good thing is one story like you and your lady friend goes a long way, man. And yeah. uh, I haven't said anything about it, but I, I'm, 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 you, I'm you say it now, man. Huh? Yeah, I, I wanted, I wanted to save it until. But you know, you're here, and, and and I believe you can, you can take this right now. And I'm, I'm a story. I was done, and everybody knows I was done. They've seen my TV show. They see mm -hmm. how done I was. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And and, and so to have. That actually worked for me. You, you've you actually made me a believer. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So continue mm -hmm. doing what you're doing. You're doing a magnificent job. I support you. I know I know the vast majority of my followers support you. I think that what you're doing, you you are definitely doing God's work, you mm -hmm. know, and I appreciate what you're doing out there. So, you know, our support to you from, from uh, Dennis. It, and and I've watched, I watched your shows, especially when you had those brothers over here and the brothers talking about some of the things that they want. And I yeah. think what's going on is now women are finally starting to, you know, this whole uh, CV-19 has mm -hmm. something that nobody could have could have forecasted. And it's made people slow down and listen. So yeah. I believe that more, I believe that this, we're just scratching the surface of what's possible because uh, I'm, we never, the women have really started to listen. And that's all you can really ask for is just to listen and have a conversation and see what happens going forward. So that's a good thing. Wow. Yeah. And with, with you brothers having doing what you're doing and talking and sharing your stories and and being willing to openly talk about your issues and things like that, this adds more uh, adds more to the positive uh, momentum and stuff that we got going. So that's a good thing. Yeah, and, and you know, and I appreciate what you're doing. Again, I just talked to Nick because I I pretty much can. I can sense where they're coming from.